All right, so man, we got a uh, fuck you doing, right? Yep. Same nigga I was gonna give it to before. I don't care. Fuck did you do? <laughs> fuck that. Fuck did you do? Yeah, boy. Bitch, I was nigga. Fuck did you do? Fuck did you prove it? Oh, he wanna know what he proving. This one hurts a little bit. Fuck is you proving? Fuck is you doing? This one hurts a little bit. What episode we on, bro? 135. Podcast Brothers episode 135. Fuck is you doing? Dedicated to Irvin Magic Johnson. Irvin Magic Johnson became the president of basketball operations for the Los Angeles Lakers in February of 2018. And he abruptly ended his tenure as that in that position with that organization uh, last month, I believe. Last month, so he, get, he did a good year. Now, within that time, he attempted to shake up the, the organization, shake up the roster. You know what I'm saying? He was able to acquire NBA All-Star superstar LeBron James to the roster and subsequently followed with some, you know, particularly mediocre signings of other players to try to form a decent roster. All right, cool. That's no problem. But Magic Johnson took on the job, and he quit. He just flat out quit. Now, I understand. I've, I done walked off the floor a couple of times. Since job. <laughs> Fuck you, niggas. I'm out of here. You never got to see my face again. Don't worry about it. I ain't coming back. I get it. I do. Sometimes the job gets to you so much that you just walk away. Now, as you brought to my attention... That the reason for his resignation is because he got CC'd on some emails that was dragging his name through the mud a little bit. Mm -hmm. Right? Magic Johnson, bro. You got HIV. What the? You ain't heard nothing worse than that. (laughs) (laughs) People been talking about you for years. For years. That's funny. And they ain't never bothered. You still walked around smiling, being magic. And now some emails is going to keep you from doing a job that you signed up for. He ain't even mm. talked to no fucking body. He was at the fucking game. Said, you know what? I quit. <laughs> Talking to reporters and shit. Giving everybody the details. Ain't talked to nobody in the organization. No players. No no, no uh, upper management. No nothing. He just said, fuck y'all. I'm out. Now, as a Lakers fan, I got a big problem with this. Because although Magic is able to keep his integrity as a man and say, I don't appreciate that disrespect. I'm leaving. But at the same time, it's just a couple of emails in regards to your job. You work? Did you look at the season? <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did, did you look at the season the Lakers is having? I think some, some dirty emails is going around about everybody in the organization at that point. And if you're going to sit here and tell me you ain't email or say nothing mean about Rob Palenka to Jeannie Buss, you're a goddamn liar. I don't believe that shit. I don't believe it. So now Magic's name is in some dirty news. And as you know what, my heart is broken. Mm-hmm. So I want to go back to having fun being Magic. Mm-hmm. They play some rules on me. They finding me. You breaking the rules. I understand you Magic Johnson and everything. You thought you was just going to smile and sway your way through the league and just sign whoever you wanted. But what about the other executives in the league that's in the same position that you're in that get penalized for the same shit that you're trying to attempt? It's an unbalanced scale, brother. It don't work like that. You signed up for a job. You could at least call LeBron and told him. I was watching the clip from him on the shop. He was like, yo, I ain't even know. Him and Lonzo Ball was on the episode of The Shop, the new one. And Lonzo Ball was like, shit, LeBron told me. Mm-hmm. LeBron was like, shit, I was, I was doing my stretches. And my, my, my right-hand man, Randy, I think he came over and told me. Then he went and checked his phone, and there it is. And he was like, for not even, I can't, he was, I can't hear because of Magic. Had Magic not been here, I probably wouldn't have came to the Lakers, to be honest with you. But I was hoping for at least, uh, uh, hey, LeBron, I'm out. Kiss my ass. All right, well, cool. I can take that. But just for nothing? Just for nothing. Now, I also understand that Magic Johnson is a fucking money machine. I mean, he's he owns a portion of the Dodgers. So all that L.A. drama with the Lakers that he was taking on, they probably was like, you know, I don't need this shit in my life at this point. <laughs> I did all this shit in the 80s already. I'm not, I'm not willing to do this again. But at the same time, with him walking into that position with the uh, uh, current standing that the Lakers was already in, what the fuck did you expect? It's not like we automatically got better when you got there. I mean, we did with the sign of the LeBron or whatever, but in the grand scheme of things, we then had the same record as last year. So, 
bro, I think you fooled yourself with thinking that you could just walk into the organization and do whatever it is that you wanted just because you were magic and you had a bright fucking smile and you own like hella movie theaters and shit. Like, I just think you kind of fooled yourself. And not only that, but you kind of screwed up the Lakers franchise for the time being because not only do we got to find a head coach, we also got to find a president of basketball operations and replete the roster. You think we can do all that before free agency starts and land a marquee free agent to come and assist LeBron? Nope. You fucking crippled us, bro. Fuck you, Magic. Fuck is you doing? God damn it. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> you crippled this magic. <laughs> You're killing me, man. You're killing me. This ain't even about basketball. <laughs> this ain't even about basketball. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Starbucks niggas still looking at me all crazy. Cursing Magic out. All right.